Hi everybody, Keith Bryant, Executive Director at USA Judo, and want to welcome you back to my second video blog here at the Olympic Training Center in Colorado Springs. I've heard from a lot of the membership that they would like to hear more about what's going on within the organization, and so we hope to do these video messages maybe on a monthly basis. So just want to give you an update since the last video message earlier this year with the five points that I outlined as part of my philosophy and strategy, and then also give you a quick update on some of the things that are happening in the world of USA Judo. So the first part of the five point plan was fixed finances. I'm proud to say USA Judo is now operating in the black and we are forecasting a positive net revenue of about $30,000 by the end of this year. Related to fixing finances, we are also working hard to earn the trust of the membership. As part of building a culture of transparency, we have posted our quarterly financials for Q1 and Q2 on the USA Judo website and we'll soon be posting the Q3 finances as well as the 2016 audited financials and the 990 statement. Also, we are listening. The board and I have been working hard to create a new culture where we encourage input, collaboration, and feedback from the American Judo community with the intent of making our organization and sport better and stronger. The third point was making new friends and renewing old friendships. In my first 14 months, I have made 20 trips to various events, both domestically and internationally, and have met new people to build collaborative initiatives to help grow our sport. Also, with friendships at the IJF, we have uh, received 12 mats and 600 judo gis as part of the Judo in Schools program, as well as some seed funding to pay for instructors. These programs will take place in 12 academic charter schools located in Florida, Texas, and Washington, D.C. USA Judo is also working with our Group A members on more collaborative ways to grow and improve the sport of Judo here in America. The fourth point is create diverse revenue streams. Fundraising is up $50,000 over this time last year. Also, we have renewed and or secured 10 event and organizational sponsors over the last 14 months. And the American Judo funds that have come to USA Judo have now been reinvested into the US Olympic Endowment to generate more interest on an annual basis. And the fifth point is to create an American Judo development model. Not unlike a lot of other national governing bodies, we are looking to create a long-term athlete development model to have sustainability and sustain competitive excellence in the sport of Judo. We've been meeting with the US Olympic Committee, other national governing bodies, attending various national conferences like the Project Play Conference to talk about sports sampling and introducing Judo to youth at a younger age and we're currently working a, with a strategic development task force uh, on creating a more robust pathway and sustainable pathway for our long-term athlete development with USA Judo. November is going to be a busy month for USA Judo. We've got the President's Cup down in Irving, Texas. Leading up to that, we'll have our board meeting where we'll be really focusing on creating a strategic plan. And then we'll have our annual assembly the night of the draw, right the night before the tournament. Uh, so if you're in the Dallas Irving area, hope that we'll see you down there for the assembly. November is going to be a host to Veterans Day. And hope you'll check out uh, some of the stories about some of our veterans, our heroes that are now giving back in the judo community. Also, November is a month of Thanksgiving. And in that vein, we'll be sending a letter to any donors who have given $25 or more over the last five years to consider an end of year donation to maybe help your tax returns and also help USA Judo. We're fortunate that we've had a friend from USA Judo step up and commit to matching up to $15,000 of the money that we raised through this end of year fundraising campaign. So please think about that and thoughtfully uh, give to USA Judo. So I wish everybody a happy Thanksgiving at the end of this month. And I wanna thank all of our coaches, club owners, our referees, athletes, and of course the parents uh, that do so much to help support our athletes across the country and in support of USA Judo. See you soon.